All right, so now we're going to talk about the um, exam changes. So those of you that are familiar with the old version, um, here's some of the changes with the new version. The good thing about reviewing these exam changes is we can see what up-to-date skills were added. In the new version, 20% of the exam objectives were updated to include updated tools. Now, I'd mentioned before about security information and event management system, SIMS. Those have matured a lot over the last three to six years to include more automation features, more automation. And a term you need to be familiar with is SOAR. SOAR stands for Security Orchestration and Automated Response. And we see a lot of SIMs that are including SOAR. And so even though setting up SOAR usually requires programming very complicated, uh, we have tools available to us that can implement this and make it easier for us as security analysts. Um, and so there's other security analyst tools also that we talk about in this that are becoming very, very, very popular. And I know this because I was just at um, RSA in San Francisco, and there was so much talk about the EDRs and XDRs tools. Um, and those um, are, I mean, endpoint detection response and extended detection response. And those are tools that can be used with SIMS that allow you to you know, essentially um, look at a broader scope of, uh, of networks. And so, you know, with a single pane of glass, in other words, so you might be able to see, you know, all of the different network attack surfaces that you're monitoring, you know, in one platform. Um, and so this can really help uh, because right now there's, you know, SIMs might only be for, you know, one area of your network and they might not see uh, the entire network. So these are improvements. They recently found XDR can improve by almost 30 days the detection of a breach. So the, uh, one month is what they were um, discussing uh, when we were there at RSA. And so that's impressive. Next is uh, cloud and mobile. There's... Um, expanded coverage of cloud mobile and zero trust indicators of compromise. So essentially as you know, network as businesses move into the cloud, businesses start using zero trust. What that means for security analysts is that we just have different, um, you know, we just have different indicators of compromise we have to be familiar with in our SIM. Because as we're looking at different network architectures, the indicators of compromise are going to look slightly different. So we have to be familiar with those in the different environments. Um, and then threat intelligence that I mentioned, there's um, more of an emphasis on threat hunting topics, you know, versus uh, threat automation, or I'm sorry, versus um, threat intelligence, just so we understand how these tools can be used. Um, and how, also how we can prioritize alerts for better incident response. Um, and so for those of you that are interested, the new exam domains, there's actually one less exam domain and there's 15 fewer objectives. And the reason is, is as the industry has matured, as this job role has matured, we find that the tasks are becoming more focused, more concentrated, and they're dealing more with just security operations, vulnerability management, incident response, and reporting and communication. In the past, we thought there was perhaps a lot more that security analysts needed to be um, aware of. And so we included a lot on regulation and we included a lot more on, um, you know, on um, compliance. And so making sure people were almost compliance analysts. What we have learned is security analysts do not need to be um, compliance analysts. Um, all security analysts need to do is just report on their current work. And then that is gonna be used by compliance analyst or your CISO's office, um, you know, to, to then work with the um, regulators or, or whoever else is in charge of that at your company, it would depend. Um, and therefore there's 12 pages versus 15. So this is a much more focused um, and uh, it, it's just gonna cover the the, fa the task that you need and it's not going to cover the tasks that you don't. And 80% uh, of the topics uh, were similar. They just may have been tweaked a bit. 